Hello, hello. Thank you for joining. His daughter five. Thank you for joining. Hello, hello. Come on in. Come on in. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on in. Come on in. Thank you for joining me this evening. Please share with your followers. I really appreciate that. I appreciate the hearts. First time joining. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. <laughs> Glad to see you on live. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please share with your followers. I am very, very well. Thank you. How are you doing today? Glory be to God in the Most High. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's give some more folks opportunities to jump in here. Alive and well. Bless the Lord. Chaz 621. Thank you for joining. My name is Meltoria Woodside. A few months ago, the Lord released me to tell my story on how I overcame infidelity. Glory be to God. And I have been, I thought that I was the end, going to be the end of my time here on Periscope, you know, tell my story and then that's me. But the Lord had something else in mind. The Lord had something else in plan, had something else planned. Ever since I've been on here, the Lord has just been using me. I'm a vessel um, to speak word, speak word of life and wisdom into women who are fighting for their marriages. I believe that because the Lord re um, released me in this season, it means that He is restoring marriages. Glory be to God. Thank you for joining. And so I don't think that it's by mistake that you are, if you are having issues with your marriage that you are on this scope you have come across this scope someone has shared this scope with you i don't think that it has been glory be to god i don't think that it's been by coincidence that first of all the lord released me to tell my story to tell you as a wife as a wife who is fighting as a wife who are who is experiencing a uh, marital issues i don't believe that it's a coincidence that the lord allowed me to come on here to tell you that you can win and so, and so, you know, so much people believe, um, so much people, you know, I'm going through so much. I've been praying, I, I've been fasting, I've been doing everything that, um, that, 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 that I believe I needed to do. When is God going to restore my marriage? But listen here, we have to trust the process. We have to trust what God is doing. You know, some people ask, ask me, you know, questions. What does God want? You know, what is he doing? What does he think? Listen here. I don't want y'all put me in no position where y'all got me trying to figure out God. He is the creator. I am only the creation. I am only the creation. I cannot figure, listen here, some, some things what God is telling me do personally, I just be like, really? Like, what? Glory? Yes, trust, you got to trust the process. And so, some of the things that God has been telling me to do is be so strange and off the wall, like, Lord, why you want me to do this stuff? You know, he got me one one way across the ocean speaking to someone else. and another. Like, you can't find somebody where they live to tell them this stuff, really? But, you know, it's what he want to do. This is how we want to do. You know, I, I, the Lord have been, um, um, you know, Holy Spirit have been training me for the past uh, five years. And sometimes I get so tired of reading the books and listening to this and listening to that. I say, Lord, you really, you in the position where you could download all this information on me and you just could make me notice stuff. But he want me to go through this process. He want me to read these books. He want me to listen to these people. He want me to take this journey. This is what he wants to do. And so, yes, you may, listen here, I, I, every pain that you feel, I know what it is. Glory be to God. See, some people believe as if because, you know, I come on here and I'm so bubbly and I'm so up-spirited that I don't know what you're going through. 
If I could have make a movie of my life when I was going through, you would be, I believe you all really be like, she should have divorced him. I kid you not. Because sometimes, seriously, like, you know, when, 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 when Holy Spirit decides to take me back on some situations, I'd be like, wow, I, I, I don't know how I make it. Even to this day, you know, I'm living a restored marriage, a restored relationship and friendship with my husband. And my husband has come to me to this day and tell me, honey, thank you for, for staying with me. And he was, he was telling me how much he hate me. And he was always calling me outside my name. He don't love me and all this stuff like that. But he, to this day, now he tell me, thank you, honey. For, for, staying with, for, for staying with me, thank you for praying for me. And so I want to just come on here and tell you guys that, you know, you just got to trust the process. You just got to trust the process. This is why we have to walk by faith and not by sight because we don't know what God do. I don't know what God do it. Sometimes when I go to sleep and wake up, I don't know what I come in just to say or embarrass go. But the Lord, he comes and he drops a word to me and say, go and release this. Go, go and say this and I say what he says. I don't know what he doing. I can't tell you um um I can't I can't I can't get up and say tomorrow I can say this and that next. I don't know. I don't know what the Lord can do. I don't know what the Lord is going to do with you personally. I don't know how long the Lord is going to have you to journey this journey that you're taking. Glory be to God. See, listen here. We know that we know the story of Joseph. Joseph was a dreamer. Glory be to God. And he dreamed that he was going to be overseeing his family. But that took years before he actually was the king. Before his dream manifested, that took years. He had to go through a process. We may be living in a microwave age, but we do not serve a microwave God. Glory be to God. We do not. We we have to trust the process. And and even as I look back on, um, you know, sometimes I look back on the periscopes that I've done. And for those of you who are joining me for the first time or, you know, who came on a uh, slow cooker. <laughs> yes, you know, microwave is a slow cooker. Oh my gosh, that's funny. So, you know, for those of you who joined my periscopes, you know, late on and, 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 and you just started a journey with me, I encourage you to go back and look on my previous videos that I have on my website, www.therealmarriageministry.com. Listen here, even myself, sometimes I go back and I listen to the things that I have said and my God, I, I, I am so amazed because, you know, like I have said before, um, I wasn't told what to do, then I did it. Uh, um, the Lord had me walk everything that I come on here and I talk on Periscope. These are, this is something that I've walked through. I've walked through the journey of, 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 you know, speaking into my marriage and speaking positive. Glory be to God. I've been through that. And then the Lord showed me what it was that I've done. And so these are proven methods that I'm telling you. See, some of you, you're getting so weary because you want to physically see what you're doing. You want to physically see the process. You want to physically see um, 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 your progress. Unfortunately, I can't give that to you. We, I can only tell you how to fight this thing in the realm of the spirit. And the realm of the spirit isn't something that we can see. You got to trust. And you got to know. And, and, and I know that situations look bad. I know it look bad. Sometimes I regret that I take some video of what I've been through and how my husband was and before and after pictures. And, and you know, when I tell people my husband looked different, he looked different. Like physically, I ain't even talking about spiritually. The man was physically looking different than what he looks now. And so... I know that he has been delivered, glory be to God, and I know that he has been set free. Yes, the Lord works behind the scenes. You know, we don't see what God is doing. And, and some of you, you may be, listen here, let me tell you how awesome God is. I, about five years ago, I was having, man, let me tell you something. When I tell you guys, I know what the valley look like. I know what the valley look like. I mean, I could count the rocks in the valley. 
If any tree is out of place, I know, I know what the valley looks like, y'all. But it, listen, and when I told you God turned it around, like he had to been working behind the scenes. It ain't he just snap his finger and everything um uh, 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 fall in place. Like I asked when I when I came out and, and when God me brought me out, then things begin to make sense of what was going on. Like things that I did whilst I was in my valley experience. I mean, when I talk about valley experience, it wasn't no lower than low, but low was. Like I was already to the bottom. You know, someone say the only the, the, the way uh, um, 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 from down is up. But child, please, I went down, then I went under, and then I went up. And so, when the Lord brought me out, and sometimes when I was, I'd be like, wow, God, this what you was doing, when that, and this, and wow, you know, and then it started to make sense. So, so you pray it, let me tell you something, even now, <laughs> even now, when I see my husband walking and when I hear him speaking and, and, and his relationship with the Lord, I, I I just look at it and I marvel and I'm so awe at, at, at what it is because, you know, I'm so thankful to where he is in his walk with God and I'm so thankful in his relationship. And then the Lord reminded me of times when I was praying for this thing that I'm walking in. I'm talking about years ago and now I'm seeing the manifestation of it. But I didn't understand or I didn't real I didn't see the pro the progress what God was doing. I didn't see the middle. I only see the beginning and the end. Because glory be to God, Lord, Lord knows I didn't think my prayers were being answered. I did not. But you know what I had to do? I had to just let it go. I had to let it go. I had to stop trying to tell my husband to come to church. Stop trying to beg him to come to church. Tell him he need to do this and he need to do that. I stop all of that. I just go to church and I worship my God. I pray. And, and I worship and I serve and I be a woman of God that God called me to be. And then I saw my husband line up. I, I, I didn't even, listen, I didn't even, I tell my husband, you coming to church today? No, you ain't coming. I, you, know, you think I worry about that? I get my children ready and I haul to the house. You know, and so, and so you got to trust the process and see the thing about it is some of you are causing your process to be more difficult than it is. Like I say, if you have not watched my videos, if you just started to join me, you know, late in the process, I encourage you to go back and watch my videos. Not because I try to promote my videos. My, listen here, I can tell you right now, I try to promote them because they are YouTube and they put together, they just joined together and, you know, professionalism and that. And I, is, I, I like to believe that I'm a woman of excellence, but ain't no excellence gone into that because I ain't no video editor. But I just have it so that whoever needs it can refer back to it. And I spoke in there about power in the tongue. See, if you continue to say that you can't handle it, I can't handle it. I can't take it. There's too much. Uh, glory be to God. This 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 drawing me out. I can't do it no more. All this stuff you are causing your process to be more difficult than it need to be. Glory be to God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing. You are causing it to be more difficult. So you are supposed to be, you are, no matter what you are going through, you ought to speak life. Glory be to God. You ought to speak positive. You see, it says life and death lies in the power of your tongue. So the things that you want to see, the way that you want to feel, you ought to be speaking. Glory be to God. See, the Bible, let me tell you something. The Bible says in Galatians 6 and 9, it says, Let us not become weary in doing good. For in the proper time, we will reap the harvest. Glory be to God. Listen here. I'm sorry I didn't come on yesterday, but I was kind of busy. But the word says that in the proper time, glory be to God. Yes, yes, yes. In the proper time. You all hear me? 
This is what the Bible says. In the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we think not. If you do not give up, you will reap a harvest in the proper time. Now, when I was going through my marital issues, proper time to me was always tomorrow. Lord, you got to do this tomorrow. Lord, you got to do this now. Lord, you got to change my husband now. I, I can't. Lord, you got to do this now. But see, you have to, this is why you have to cast your cares upon him because he care for you. See, what you think may be the proper time, ain't the proper time. You ain't ready. You ain't ready. God knows when you're ready. Your husband ain't ready. Listen here. You have to look at this like this. If your husband is not in your house, you got to believe that God, you're fixing him while he's out there. Lord, is a reason why you have us separated because you need to deal with him away apart from me. Glory be to God. Lord, you got to deal with my husband apart from me. You need to give him. He have to have time for you. Glory be to God. You need to have some time for him apart from me and apart from this house. You got to believe that God is doing something even if your husband is not home. I say you got to trust the process. You got to trust God and you got to trust the process. Now where do you stand right now? You got to stay in your home. You got to continue praying. You got to continue fasting. You got to continue sowing your seeds. You got to continue believing. You got to continue working your words of faith. You got to continue in those things while God deal with your husband. Too many of you are trying to do it on your own. You say, God, restore my, my marriage. Restore my husband. Fix my marriage. Restore my husband. But you're pushing your husband away. See, you got to take your hands off of it. You got to take your hands off of it. You got to give it your all in reference to the spiritual realm. You got to give it your all in prayer. You got to pray with force. You, you, got, to, you got to pray. Like, look here. I am fighting for my marriage. And I ain't allowing nobody to take it away from me. I am fighting for my marriage if it caused me my life. I am fighting for my marriage no what no matter what. I am fighting for no my marriage even if I got to look foolish. I am fighting for my marriage no matter what people look at me with no matter what people say. Listen here, but when you're talking about fighting for your marriage, society have a different picture. Society have a different picture than the word of God. Society have a di different picture than the spiritual realm. See, society telling you, you ain't got to go through that, so divorce. Glory be to God. But see, that is not what God is saying. God is saying, stand in place. God is saying, through the trials, through the tribulations, hold on. God is saying, I am going to restore your marriage. God is saying, in the proper time, I will restore your marriage. In the proper time, you will reap the harvest if you don't give up. See, you got, you got to understand what the scripture is saying. And, and above all of the first and all of you going to reap it in the proper time. Above all that, it's saying if you do not give up. That means if you do not give up, if you continue to believe that I'm going to restore your marriage, if you continue to believe that you're, I'm going to deliver your husband, if you continue to believe, to believe that even if your husband serve you with divorce, even if you go before the court and they grant your divorce decree, look here, you got to stand and believe that God, I am not thinking, I am not giving up. No matter what, I am not giving up. Glory be to God. It is, this is why, listen here, as, as I was, was thinking on this word today, I had to give God thanks because when I heard, um, when the Lord, you know, released me into ministry, into talking into to, to wives, and I, I, I heard the Holy Spirit said, when wives fight, families win. Glory be to God. It says, when wives fight, families win. This fight that you're going through, your marriage, your family is in your hands. I remember telling my husband 
I had to carry our family until he was able to carry our family. I had to be the one to cover this family until he was ready, until the Lord had got, had fixed him, until the Lord had delivered him for him to carry this family. As strong as a Christian I was, as strong as a woman of God, everybody told me that I was. I didn't feel I was strong. I didn't feel as if I could have done this. But I had to carry my family until my, uh, my, my, my adulterous husband was ready. I couldn't carry my family until my gambling husband was delivered. Glory be to God. I, I had to carry my family until my blind husband was able to see. Glory be to God. I, tell, I had to carry my family until my disloyal husband became loyal. I had to carry my family and, and let me let me tell you something Hus the husbands is the head of the home so i know that this is a great responsibility but you got to know that this is only temporary this is the only temporary time you only got to walk with your head down for a temporary period of time. You only got to, glory be to God, you only got to feel, glory be to God, um, 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 disrespected for a short period of time. You only got to feel hurt for a short period of time. But when I tell you when the Lord raised you up out of the situation, I tell you that when you reach the finish line, glory be to God, listen to everybody who call you crazy, everybody who tell you to Divorce, everybody who encouraged you to leave your husband, everybody who spoke against your husband, glory be to God, everybody who taught, everybody who thought that you were a fool, listen here, when the Lord raised you up, all of them are going to be brought to shame, you, this may be, it may seem as if you being embarrassed, it may seem as if this fight is for nothing, but let me tell you woman of God, that crown that has been sitting up in heaven, that has been waiting on you to reclaim, listen here, that's going to that's going to look so good on your head. I hear everybody calling everybody queens. Queen this, queen that, and all over the, all over the periscope. Queen University and queen this. But let me tell you something. The real queens are the ones who have gone through the battlefield and who have fought and fought for their family. Glory be to God. The real queens are the ones who have come out of the battlefield with their scars. You are the ones that deserve to wear the, wear the crown. Not because you look good. Not because you have a good job. Not because, not because you could, you you could, you could have a good business. No, 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 no. In my book, that don't, that don't, that that that, that that's not the resume for a queen. A queen is someone who could hang her, her head down and shame for a period of time. Glory be to God. That the queen is the one who, who who said, "I'm going to, no matter what, I'm going to pray for my husband. I'm going to stick by him, no matter what, even though he out there with somebody else living in darkness and blindness. I'm going to pray for my husband because I know." The the Lord is going to deliver him. I know that God is going to restore my family. I know that God's glory is going to be revealed in me and through me. I know the Lord is going to use us for his glory. No matter what, you just stand in there. Because listen here, your crown is being, glory be to God, is being decorated with jewels. All that you are going through, glory be to God, I believe that the Lord is preparing your crown, your crown of glory, because listen here, when you come out, everybody who doesn't talk about you, they're going to be the same ones praising you. Those same set who tell you to leave your husband, they're going to be the same set praising you. Your family who tell you to divorce, they're going to be the same set praising you. Glory be to God. I know that some people tell me that they're pastors and their leaders telling them to divorce. The devil is a liar and the truth is not in him. They are going to be brought to shame. Glory be to God and the Lord, the glory of the Lord is going to be revealed. Let me tell you all something. Glory be to God. I have people always telling me that they love how we love each other. That they, they and, and listen here, ain't nothing like like going before someone knowing who I, um, someone who know that I've been through. When I see people, when I walk in shame, glory be to God. When me and somebody else was pregnant with my husband's child, when I walked the city in shame, now those same people are seeing the Lord's glory be to God. The same, same people are seeing the glory of the Lord 
be revealed, not only in me, but in my husband. Glory be to God. See, listen, now, we got to represent the kingdom. We got to decide that if we're going to be children of God, that we are going to represent the kingdom well. We ain't divorcing because the world divorcing. Glory be to God. We will not be defeated by divorce. See, some people are, some people out there saying divorce, divorce, divorce. Look here. Divorce means defeated. Glory be to God. The moment you get divorced, that remain, that, 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 that's the moment that the enemy have defeated you. Don't walk around with defeat on your head. You got to, to walk around with victory hanging over your head. See, that's why the enemy bringing all these fiery darts your way. That's why the enemy sending all these trials and tribulations your way. Glory be to God. That's why the spirit of confusion coming against your house. And, and you, 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 and one minute it looked like it being restored. Then the next minute it looked like it ain't. But listen here, the devil is a liar. The spirit of confusion shall not prevail in your house. You got to hold on and you got to stand and know, glory be to God, that there are spoils you waiting to collect. Glory be to God. How many of you been expecting a nice check? Glory be to God. And you anticipating it to come? Oh, glory be to God. Or some of you, I know you're working um, on your 9 to 5 job. At the end of the day, you waiting on your paycheck. You done work hard all this time. I don't know. Some of you get paid every month. Some of you get paid every two weeks. And at the end of the day, when you done, be, done wake up from 9 in the morning, done drive through traffic, at the end of the week, you expecting your pay. But with that same expectation, Expectation. I want you to go out there and expect to pay for all the trouble that you have walked through, all the heartache, all the shame that you walked through, all the tears that you have cried. Expect a paycheck. Glory be to God, the enemy going to pay you back. Glory be to God, the enemy is going to pay you back. What you ain't even expect, the, the enemy is going to pay you back. Yeah, that same enemy that's causing you heartache and is causing you pain, that's the same enemy who got your check when he got the right check name on it and you got the right to figure. Glory be to God. Listen here. The Bible says in Galatians 6 and 9, let us not become weary and doing good. See, listen here. You praying, you fasting, you sowing, you believe in God, you walking by faith. Don't get tired of doing that. Glory be to God. Don't get tired of believing God. Don't get tired. Oh God, don't get weary, don't get weary, don't get tired. You doing a good thing. Fight a good fight of faith. You fighting a good fight. Glory be to God for at the proper time. Glory be to God at the proper time. You will reap a harvest if you don't faint. If you don't give up, you gonna reap. Glory be to God. If you don't give up, you gonna reap. Glory be to God. If you got to pray from morning to night every day, glory be to God. Don't get tired. Don't get tired. I tell you, as a woman of God, you going to reap. You going to reap. Glory be to God. See, I told some of, some of you, glory be to God, in one of my previous scopes, I said, be careful who's speaking in your ear. Don't let everybody talk into your ear concerning your marriage. Look here, you got to cut the whole world off and you got to cut your circle line. Don't talk to everybody about your marriage because ain't everybody going to understand this fight with you fighting. Ain't everybody. Glory be to God. Listen. Ain't everybody gonna understand this fight with you fighting? Ain't everybody gonna understand this? You fighting for you, and you fighting for yours. You can't expect, glory be to God. You can't expect people to understand what you fighting for. Don't expect it. Glory be to God. Glory be to God, my God. Mm. Oh, Listen. Don't expect people to understand what you're fighting for. Don't expect people to agree with you to do what you're doing. Don't expect people to understand. Ain't everybody gonna enjoy the spoils with you? 
Glory be to God. Ain't everybody gonna enjoy the spoils with you? Ain't everybody gonna enjoy the rewards? Ain't everybody gonna enjoy it? So don't allow people to say things about you. Don't allow people to dictate to you your journey. The Lord did not raise me up to come on here to, 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 because he did not raise me up to come on here to tell you how I win because he ain't going to restore your marriage. He raised me up and he allowed me to come on here because he want to show you what he can do. He want to give you hope. He want to let you know that he is in the business of restoring marriages. He want to let you know that this is what he does. He want to let you know that he is a good God. He want to let you know that he hear your cry. He want to let you know that you're on the right track. Some of you, he tell you he going to restore your marriage. See, the only, the only thing is you just don't know the things that you're going through. You don't expect to go through them. But let me be the one to tell you. You may be walking the valley right now. You may be walking where it seems like a dark path. But let me let you know that God is going to raise you up out of there. God is going to take you up out of the valley and he's going to bring you on the mountain top for the world to see. The Lord, his glory is going to be revealed in you and through you. You just got to hold on. When you feel like giving up, you got to use the power in your tongue to speak to yourself. You got to call yourself victorious. You got to call yourself conqueror. You got to say you can do it. When you feel like crying and saying, I can't do this no more. Don't allow those words to proceed out of your mouth. Only allow words that is going to lift you up come out of your mouth. Only speak joy. Only speak positive. Only speak victory. Don't allow the enemy to cause you to, 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 to bring your hope down. Don't even, listen here. If your husband cuss you out today or tomorrow, you got to say this is going to come to an end. This, I ain't going on through this all my life. I am going to enjoy my marriage. My husband is going to be a good man to me. My husband is going to be a supportive husband. You got to speak life. Glory be to God. And listen here. I got to go right now. That's right. My name is Victory. My, I am victorious. I am conqueror. I am a conqueror. I am a conqueror. When you feeling down, when you feel that you ain't got no more fight in you, you got to say, I am a conqueror. I am a conqueror. I am victorious. Don't allow it. Don't allow the enemy bring you on any other words. Glory be to God. For those of you who, who are just joining me, who are just joining this ministry, the Lord released me to tell my story on how I overcame infidelity. My marriage was troubled. My husband was walking a dark path. The man that I married was not the man that I endured the trouble with. My husband was a good man. I married a good man and the enemy got hold of him. And I had to fight for all of us to get through. I had to fight for him to get through. I had to fight for my children to get through. I had to fight for this family. I had to fight to get my loving husband back. You got to fight, but you can prevail. You are going to reap the harvest. You are going to reap. Do not faint in well-doing. Do not, do not cease praying. Continue to pray. Continue to fast. Continue to sow on behalf of your marriage. Continue to believe that God is going to do an awesome thing. 
Glory be to God. I thank you guys for following me. I thank you guys for, for following this ministry. For those who are sowing in this ministry. For those who, who, who are listening to the call of God to sow in, in this ministry. I thank you. God bless each and every one of you. For those of you who are sowing concerning your marriage. Please remember that when you send your seed. You make sure to put your name, your husband's name and your marriage name. So I can know who you are. Glory be to God. I may be watering in these seeds but it is the Lord God that is going to make them to grow and God is so faithful he is faithful God is faithful let me tell you how faithful God is every day the sun rise and every evening the sun set God is even more faithful in the sun glory be, be to God he is the creator that's only the creation and if the creation could be faithful how much more faithful than the creator can be glory be to God we got to trust in the Lord we got to trust him with all our heart with all your heart, trust Him. Trust Him with all your heart. Glory be to God. Thank you for coming on. Peace be with all of you. Thank you guys for sowing. For those of you who want to sow, just go to my website, www.therealmarriageministry.com. You can check out my videos there. Glory be to God. Some of them, you all don't, don't be scared to listen to them more than once. Sometimes you need a reminder. Sometimes, sometimes you, need, you need to remind your spirit mind on what it needs to do. Sometimes you need to remind your spirit mind on who is into control, in control, glory be to God. Sometimes you got to remind your flesh you in control, glory be to God. And so for those of you who have been sowing, thank you. Thank you for following. Thank you for sharing um, these videos. Listen, are you sharing this video is not blessing me. It is blessing somebody. And, 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 and God is honoring that. Glory be to God. The more marriages we save, we are all collectively victorious. I'm not, vic I'm, I'm not victorious because I win. I'm, I'm victorious because the kingdom is winning. When we win, the kingdom is winning. When we fight, the kingdom is, 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 is winning. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for rocking with me. For those of you who are praying for me, continue to pray. Thank you all.